Iraq, we have been informed by the Israel chief himself that Israel has found the location of Vikram, the lander on the lunar surface, and the orbiter has now clicked a thermal image of the lander. However, there is no communication yet. Uh, Israel has informed that they are still trying to establish contact. And further details will, of course, be communicated soon. This is the big development that has come our way as far as India's Chandrayaan-2 mission is concerned. Remember, we had lost contact in the wee hours of uh, September 7th, early morning of September 7th. At around 2 a.m., we had lost contact about 2.1 kilometers away uh, from the surface of the moon. Just when we were about 2.1 uh, kilometers away from the landing is when we had lost contact with Vikram the lander and now the orbiter which will be orbiting around the moon for about the next seven years has now done its job. It has clicked the first thermal image of the lander and has sent it back our way. We are of course waiting and hoping that that image will also be shared with us soon. My colleague Harish uh, joins us first on the broadcast. Harish, you were tracking all the developments that night as well. This is uh, this is of course a good sign, a very good sign that at least, uh, um, you know, we were expecting this image to come out. Of course, uh, taken by the orbiter, but there is there could be possibility for some further good news. Well, the landing spot was supposed to be decided uh, by the orbiter and the rough circumference of it uh, was around 10 by 10 kilometers. So the orbiter exactly knew in which area this particular lander would have landed and that has been uh, clicked in a thermal camera by the orbiter and the ISRO believes that uh, once the object that has been spotted in this uh, thermal image is uh, the lander uh, that is on the surface of the moon, uh, efforts are still on to establish contact with this lander. But what it does is now it will give a very clear-cut idea to ISRO on the status of this lander, whether it has landed on the legs or has it crash-landed, at what degree has it landed because uh, it couldn't have sustained itself uh, on, on a ground that has any slope more than 12 degrees. And uh, mm -hmm. now this will give an idea to ISRO on what degree of slope it has landed on is there any sort of hope of uh, establishing contact? What is the kind of damage that, I, that might have been caused to this particular lander? All this can perhaps be assessed by ISRO. Not just that, let's also remember it will take a good two and a half days to three days, uh, Earth days, uh, for the orbiters to, orbiter to once again reach this spot while circling moon. And it will further click more images. There are extremely sophisticated cameras that are uh, part of the payload on this orbiter. So they will be clicking images of this area once again as well. So ISRO will be getting more details. But uh, the sense one gets by talking to some of the people within the, uh, within the organization is that it's highly unlikely that ISRO would release images of this particular spot anytime soon. Uh, it has been a huge, uh, 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 a huge, huge success in terms of the orbiter. But uh, the soft landing couldn't happen. So will the ISRO now go out and put out these images is uh, something that uh, everyone is wondering. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, at least ISRO now has an idea of uh, where to find for this orbiter on the surface, beg your pardon, the lander on the surface of the moon. Right, absolutely. And at the same time, uh, of course, uh, it's understandable, Harish, if they uh, will not be releasing those thermal images that have been captured uh, by the orbiter. But uh, the point is that this now uh, would serve as, uh, of course, information regarding the area that we were anyway trying to tap. So this uh, will serve in, of course, future missions as well. Uh, you know, th the exact area where we were hoping to land, uh, of course, uh, like I said, this would become very useful information for our future missions. Absolutely. Uh, the area where this will be found, uh, to what degree has this uh, uh, lander is found on the surface of the moon. All right, Harish, uh, stay on with land. us. Harish, uh, stay on with us. The ISRO chief uh, is speaking to us right now. Thank you, sir, for taking our call. Thank you so much for speaking to NewsX. It's a, a huge development that has come our way. If you could, sir, just uh, explain the technicalities to our viewers as well. We have now uh, caught an image of the lander. We've been informed, and it's a thermal image that has been caught by the orbiter itself. All right, Harish, we're uh, just uh, fixing that line quickly. Uh, Mr. K. Sivan, who will, of course, be in the best position 
right now to explain uh, all the details that we have uh, so that we can also have uh, you know uh, that for the conversation but I would also on that note like to inform our viewers that this image that has been captured is most likely been done by the Orbiter high resolution camera. For more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon.